channel. Today, we're going to talk about the mobile features of 2024 theme or lack thereof, because there aren't very many. And this is where the whole developing and designing using the 2024 theme can quickly fall apart if you're not really happy with the default blocks and patterns and the way this theme looks and feels out of the box. If you're not a developer, there won't be any real mobile features here. You'd have to, you know, custom code, all of that stuff. Though I will show you two plugins today that will allow us to do some very simple uh, mobile breakpoint things like hide or show blocks and patterns at certain breakpoints. Or you can go even further with one of the other plugins I'll show you, which has a lot of visibility features. What are those plugins? Let's take a look. We have two installed plugins here. We have Nick Diego's block visibility plugin. I've done a video on that. I will also link it in the description. And the Twentig plugin, which I recently did a video on. This is a plugin that will allow you to really customize 2024. It adds a bunch of patterns and blocks and you can load preload templates that run on 2024 the change look and feel of the site and it has some very minor uh, mobile features which I'll show you uh, in a moment let's go to the full site editor and we're gonna start with going into the header because this is the common question that I get on this channel on my 2024 videos is how do I customize my mobile navigation or the icon etc so let's click on the header uh, template part. We're going to edit this. And again, um, if you've seen my live stream with Paul Charlton and Brian Cords, we talked about uh, blocks versus bricks and this native experience versus a bricks builder or an Elementor. This is where full site editing and the core experience of WordPress really starts to fall down, not just because of the lack of mobile features, um, you know, customizing these breakpoints, but even when I'm in the full site editor, it just doesn't react the same uh, as I, as if I'm looking at a blog post and editing in the block editor in like, for example, the view button doesn't work <laughs> there's no function to it. It's still there. Uh, but when I'm in my post editor, which we'll look at later, you can have the desktop view, the tablet view, the mobile view, just quick, quickly, you know, jump around and see those different views. I can drag this, but it doesn't really, you're not really setting certain breakpoints, and And that's just why don't we have the normal uh, view element that we have in the post editor? So there's qualms like that and then the lack of features. So when we bring this down to the mobile size, you can see that our navigation, which you I only have one page right now, sample page. When I bring it down, it turns into the hamburger icon. So we're going to click that. And don't forget, it's also available inside uh, the block list view. So when we click on the navigation block, we go to the settings tab, you'll see that I only have a handful of options, not even a handful. I have two. <laughs> I have two options. Uh, I can click this and I can change the icon from two horizontal lines to four horizontal lines. And you'll see that change right there. It is now four horizontal lines. Let me go back. And that's about the extent that I have when customizing what that icon looks like out of the box. I can choose not to show the icon, which will just show a, me a word menu uh, in order to click that menu on mobile device. We can go back. And that's as far as we're going to go customizing what that icon looks like. There are uh, There's one other option, which is the overlay menu. And the overlay menu basically covers the entire site. When somebody clicks that mobile icon, it covers the entire site and allows you the, the visitor to just see the uh, navigation items that are in there. You have a couple settings on the overlay menu. You can only show that on mobile, like, hey, only have that experience on mobile, or always do it. So when somebody clicks on it, it's always going to cover the entire site, If no matter if they're looking at it on a 60-inch TV or a 6-inch iPhone, or you can turn it off completely. And that's about the extent of it. You can't say anything else. You can't make 2024 react any different and specify anything else when it gets down to this mobile view. Okay, I'm just going to hit save for a second. Um, and what I'll show you now is the block visibility and the Twentig options. So if I were to duplicate this, let's say, and we're going to have... Uh, two headers just for an example purpose, example sake. And what I'll do here is on our second header, uh, we're going to put the navigation on the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side by default. And we're going to, well, we'll just leave it at that. So now when I click on the group block up here, I'm going to use Nick Diego's plugin first. 
And the block visi visibility plugin gives us all of these different features. Now, not all of these are for mobile, um, but we have screen size that we can uh, add settings to. We have browser and device, uh, which we could add settings to. But we're going to go to screen size for a moment here. And it's just going to add in these three simple options that says hide on desktop, hide on tablet, hide on mobile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this first group, which makes up our navigation. I'm just going to hide that on mobile. And the second group that I made, I'm going to add the same setting there. And I'm going to hide it on desktop and tablet. And I'm going to hit save. Now, this is obviously overkill to do stuff like this, but it's just for uh, example's sake. So basically what will happen is it'll always show the top navigation on desktop and tablet. And it'll hide this one, but as soon as it, the second one, but as soon as we go to mobile, it's going to display that second one. Okay, so let's go and look at our website. Really, Okay, so here we are on the front end. We're going to grab this and bring it down to mobile view. And you'll see now on the left-hand side, my navigation, is, uh, navigation icon, the hamburger icon, is on the left-hand side. Because the block visibility plugin is saying, hey, again, once we get down to mobile, we'll show this group that we've set those block visibility settings to, and then we'll hide this one on the top, right? So that's one way of customizing the navigation. Again, that's a very broad use case example. You can use the block visibility plugin and really punch in uh, to those blocks or patterns that make up certain template parts of your website. And just to call attention to the Twentig stuff, um, it has the same exact options when it comes to screen sizes, but this is all the Twentig uh, plugin adds. You don't have the further options for adding like resolution and, and you can, with block visibility, you can target phones, phone type, browser type. You can get pretty granular with that stuff, but the Twentig only gives you these three options. So you really have to kind of weigh the pros and cons of what you want to do on a particular project. I think you can trust both of them, um, but they're kind of for two different, uh, use cases. Twentig, if you want to, you know, customize your 2024 theme and use the templates and the, uh, and the blocks and the patterns that they give, and you just want to make 2024 look a lot different, Twentig might be good for you. And these three little options might be fine. If you want to go deeper, you can use block visibility. You can use them both together. There's no <laughs> right or wrong to any of this stuff. Let's talk about uh, patterns and blocks when you're customizing a page. So we'll go back to our dashboard. We'll go to a page. And we'll just use the sample page uh, for this example. <clears throat> so again, same thing with targeting a block. If I just select this quote block, I have Nick Diego's visibility plugin, and I have those options to hide this on a mobile device as well. So I can, again, add screen size, and I can hide this block um, when it's on desktop or tablet and just leave it on when it's on mobile. So if we view the page, we don't see that quote block. And then when we bring it down, that quote block now appears and it's right there. And you can target blocks and patterns and groups with Nick Diego's plugin. And that's another way that you can create a mobile experience on a per page basis using that block visibility plugin and a 2024 theme. It is probably not the most scalable solution when you are uh, developing a really intricate site. If you're just punching into a very simple business site and you just want to hide a hero image when it's on mobile or certain elements, you say, hey, I know on these handful of pages, I have block visibility and it's hiding these elements or I'm only showing this on mobile devices. I think that's a, it's a fine way of going about it. But if you're a uh, WordPress professional and you're developing sites for customers and they really want an intricate experience, like you're building something that's vastly different on mobile versus uh, desktop, and you have a lot of testing and intricate designs you have to do, this is not a scalable solution. That's why um, you'll have such fierce competition or fierce debates with folks who run Bricks and Elementor and Beaver Builder and Divi because they have design components and workflows that are specifically built for a mobile experience. This is 2024 theme out of the box with core WordPress. There's not a lot there yet. We're getting there. It's slow, and I know that's where a lot of folks are frustrated, and that's why I know a lot of folks, again, are so fierce with page builders because they can do a lot more 
core WordPress just isn't there yet, especially on that mobile uh, experience side. So that's what I wanted to share with you today because I do have I do get a lot of questions about you know customizing the the header for, specifically for mobile devices. The Twentig plugin again is a fantastic new plugin that I recently found. I'll link up the video. You can do a lot with it. Block patterns, uh, fonts. You can change uh, the the look and feel of 2024 and import these uh, different templates that they have and they have a new one coming and then of course nick diego's block visibility plugin just has a ton of features i mean and it's a well-coded well thought out uh block you can do a lot with it i've covered this again i'll link up that video uh in the show notes below thanks for watching thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want more don't forget the wpminute.com if you want your weekly update five minutes or less for the busy wordpress professional head to the wp minute dot com slash subscribe. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. See you in the next video.